Thank you, Dr. Naik, for your lucid explanation of Islam's concept of God. My simple question is, we have talked about racial brotherhood, linguistic brotherhood, blood brotherhood, and so on. And they are the disturbers of the concept of universal brotherhood. But you have not talked on the concept of kafir, I think which is one of the most important disturbers of universal brotherhood in the world. Can I have your name, brother? So that I can answer you in a better way. Yes. Professor Nigar from Biondi College. The professor has asked a question that I have spoken about various concepts. I've explained the concept of universal brotherhood and spoken that the concept of brotherhood based on blood relationship, on race, on caste and creed, etc., they cause disturbance. I haven't spoken on the concept of kafir. Brother kafir is an Arabic word which comes from the root word kufr, which means to conceal to conceal, to hide. It also means to reject. And in context, in Islamic context, it means that any person who conceals or rejects the truth of Islam, anyone who rejects the truth of Islam is called as a kafir. Anyone who rejects the truth of Islam, that there's one God and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all that I spoke, he's a kafir. Any brotherhood, besides the brotherhood of universal brotherhood of faith and the Islamic brotherhood, if it falls in other brotherhood based on anything, there can be a hundred types of brotherhood. Brotherhood based on a particular region, whether it be India, whether it be Pakistan, whether it be America, all these other brotherhood that is not in the purview of the brotherhood of faith, believing in concept of one God, disturb the universal brotherhood, including if you say that the kafirs, the brotherhood of kafir, do they disturb? Yes, they disturb. What is the meaning of kafir? Anyone rejects the truth of Islam. There are some non-Muslims who ask me questions, and during question answer, I'm one of the cassettes, they said, that why do the Muslims abuse us by calling kafir? And people say that they get hurt. I said, see, kafir is an Arabic word, which means a person who rejects the truth of Islam. It's an Arabic word. For a person who rejects the truth of Islam, in English, if you have to translate, he becomes a non-Muslim. So a person is a non-Muslim, who reject the truth of Islam, he is called as a kafir. It's just a translation of the English word non-Muslim. So if you say that don't call a non-Muslim a kafir, how can I do that? So if a person says, why do you call me a kafir? Don't call me a kafir. So I can tell that you accept Islam and stop calling a kafir. It's only an Arabic word for non-Muslim. Hope that answers the question.